Thank you for watching The Moment for Tuesday, February the 8th, 2022. I'm a bit late in recording today because I was at the church um, accepting donations of all kinds of things for West Broadway. We have included a list in an email that was sent last week and it all has to do with warm hats and mitts as well as some items of food that are particularly important for the clients that, that attend at West Broadway. It was great to see the generosity of everyone that has donated and we will have the card out from Mon Sunday till Thursday every morning from 9 a.m. to 11. And if you can't come during those times and you have things, please be in touch and we will ensure that we go by and pick it up safely. This has been quite the week. Um, the news is full of all kinds of negative things and perhaps when um, we're thinking about our faith and how, how it is with our relationship with God. We might be feeling, I don't know, where is God in the midst of all of this? It's a question that we often ask, and it's a good question because it invites us to think deeply and to listen carefully and to watch with open eyes and open hearts to what is going on. I know that lots of people are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, and that is natural too. And I invite you to spend some time in prayer, but also to think about how our actions affect moments in time and how those moments are like ripples that go out and share God's love with everyone. Last week I talked about a meditation from the 31 Spiritual Meditations by uh, Rob Fennell. And this, this last week was one about getting up in the morning. And this one is about as we head to bed. It says, going to bed can be a sweet relief. We all need our rest, and sometimes the days are simply too full. Before settling under the covers and heading to dreamland, you have the perfect opportunity to reflect quietly on your day and who you were within that day. So the practice is, amid your nighttime rituals, brushing your teeth, washing your face, pajamas, hair, maybe removing makeup or taking some medicine, interrupt your sequence for a moment and have a look in the mirror. Don't examine your imperfections, your skin, your wrinkles, your crooked teeth. Just look into your own eyes for a couple of moments. This is a moment of honesty. What one thing did you say or do today that offered a bit of hope or joy or love to another human being? As that action comes to mind, smile in the awareness that you were a blessing to another person today. And it was good that you did that and brought that into the world. And if you honestly can't think of a thing you said or did to ease another's burden, whisper a short prayer for the grace, the courage, and the opportunity to do it tomorrow. And give thanks to God to provide that opportunity. And when it comes tomorrow, remember that it is an answer to your prayer. And make a date with yourself to have a look in the mirror again at bedtime. Your act or single word of kindness or encouragement is a great gift to another traveler on this planet that we all share. We are here to bless each other. As we go about our lives, as we struggle to pay attention to what's going on in close to home, in our own families, in our community, in our city, in our country, and in the world. May we know God's love and grace in all we do. May it be so. Amen.